everyone welcome back to this channel you are watching our cloud school where we are discussing all about the azure data factory in today's video we will talk about link services what is link service in azure data factory how do we create the link service and why it is important to know while using the azure data factory with a demo for the demonstration i'm going to use this data factory instance which is there on my screen right now which I've created in our previous demonstration. To launch the Data Factory Studio, you can click here on this icon, which is available on the overview section. Once you click here, that will open the Data Factory Studio. So let me just click here and that will open the studio, something like this. So here it says, it shows some of the menu item, which you can click and directly launch the specific configuration or you can simply click on this new option if you want to create any specific configuration like pipeline power query data flow and all but as we are talking about the link services so i'll be clicking on this manage option and that manage option gives some of the configurations such as the link services integration runtime git configuration triggers and other settings, right? So let's talk about the link services. So link services in Azure Data Factory answers two different questions. First, where is my data source, which I would like to connect with the data factory. And the second question is, which it answer is, how I'm going to connect or how am I, I'm, how am I supposed to connect to the data source or to the source or the destination data using the pipe using the azure data factory so as you can see that here on the connection links services i have already created three link services which is of type blob storage now type blob storage means that this link services is supposed to be created or supposed to be targeted at the azure blob storage now, if you have a requirement to connect to any other data type or any other source of the destination location type, then you have to choose a specific type of link service. So to create a new link service, simply click on this particular option, or you can also create a link service from the data set option as well. I'll show both the option to you. So let me first of all, create a link service from here. As soon as you click here on the link services option you see that you have all the option to choose which will which you can use to configure your link service so you can see that blob storage is the option which are being used to create this link service right apart from this you have the option to create a link service for let's say cosmos db azure adf uh, azure data like gen2 storage account mysql mongodb psql even azure key vault or sql service databases and there are multiple options available which you can use to configure your link service as of now in my azure subscription i do not have any other type of resource so i just have a storage account so i'll be giving you a demonstration how to set a link service to connect to a link to the connect to the Azure storage account, but the configuration or the step will remain almost same. It's just the different set of parameter you may need to provide depending upon the type of link service you are creating. So here you need to provide the name of your link service. So naming convention, I like to prefer to give it as an LS, which is LS for link service. And then you have to provide the name of your linked service. So the link is link services demo storage ls, right? And then you can provide the description, meaningful description. Now the second most important op configuration option you have with link services is the integration runtime. You can see that the integration runtimes are available just here on the left hand side as an in integration runtimes, which is basically connected to your link service. Why it is connected? Because your link service is saying that I am supposed to connect to this storage account in this example or this source or the target data type. Now, how am I, 
how am I supposed to connect? Because I need a compute resource which can help me to run or to reach out to this target or source storage account or let's say target or source data type. Now that compute you have to provide as an integration runtime. So there are options available for an example auto resolve integration runtime means that you are saying that use the Azure manage integration runtimes which is a platform as in service entirely managed by Microsoft Azure you do not have to worry about it but it is also possible you may want to bring in your own machine into the picture to perform this computational or integration runtime activities right so I'm going to use this default option you don't I'm not going to create any integration runtime for this demonstration next you have the authentication time time so depending upon the type of data type you are trying to configure as in link service you have to specify what is the connectivity options your link services are supposed to use in order to interact with your target data type so as we are trying to connect to the storage account so with the storage account whatever number of authentication options available that will be listed down here you can see that we have an option to connect to the storage account with the account key which is a storage account key or it, you can be SaaS token or it could be a service principle or manage identity which is a system manage identity or user manage identity so depending upon the configuration option you want to choose you can specify a type of authentication obviously if I specify or choose a specific setting the bottom level of setting will be changing so let me just show you an example if I set this system manage identity which means that in this case as this is running from Azure data factory so it will use the data factory's system managed identity in order to connect to the storage account now remember that I have not provided which storage account it is supposed to use that is supposed to be provided next but here I am saying whichever storage account you want to connect you have to use this system manage identity as an authentication type which means that this ADF needs to have to this access to the Azure storage account to, in order to set up a connectivity if I try and simply use the connectivity option without providing the connectivity to the storage account for an example on this storage account ADF do not have an access so which means that it may not be able to connect now how do i prove that whether the connectivity is there or not as of now i have selected the subscription and storage account now here with this test connection option you can click and validate whether the authentication type and the type of resource which you have choose have the appropriate permission to connect or not as you can see that as i mentioned the ADF does not have permission to connect to the storage account hence it is failing so it's not going to work now as soon as I give the permission it will work fine so that we'll have a look at later on but the simplest option I'll use by default is the Azure account key in this case it's going to use the connection string now how I am supposed to provide the connection string two option from Azure subscription which means that if you choose the subscription and the storage account details the azure portal will automatically grab those uh, connection string keys and it will connect the values for you so as of now let me just click here and test the connection again whether it is going to work or not so you can see that the connection is successful which means that our link service is able to connect to the storage account using the access key or the connection string setting now I have not provided any connection string because it is mutually grabbing those connection string and then setting up those values. Let me just click on the create option. So that's the link service which we have created. You can see that that is a link service which we have created or demo storage link service, right? As of now it is not linked or not being used by any of the data source. Now all these link service are always going to be connected with the data source because like I said this has given me answer where is my source or the data source and how am I supposed to connect to these data source is it going to be this authentication type that authentication type and all those things right so two questions are answered now what kind of a data it is supposed to be used 
and that is where this link services are going to be used so here is the data set so what i am going to do is while creating the data set it will always ask to specify how this data supposed data set is supposed to connect to your target or the source data type so let me just simply create this binary option and you can see that here it is asking to specify the link service and within the link service i have all my link services option which are of type azure storage now if i choose any other type of data for an example if i choose let's say cosmos db for mongo for an example and now if i choose a drop down you can see that those link services are not available because those are type of a storage account hence the only link service which is of type specific to this data set is available now coming back to the azure storage account blob storage binary here i can specify the link service which we have created as soon as you click on this create select this link service which we have created for the demonstration let me just use the demo one which we have created now i should be able to con communicate to my storage account and that i can test it with the, by clicking on this browse option so if i click on the browse option you can see that it has accessed all my containers which are available in this particular storage account so on the only container i have is this particular which is output one and if i click on the output one it will list down all the folders subfolders files within that container and that too we can use in the data set let me just click here on this data set option click ok and you can see that it is a data set which we have created the data set name is binary one which is of type binary it is using this link services i can again test my connection is targeting to this container and i have not specified the file name here i can specify the file name if i want to but i have not used it as of now just to summarize in this demonstration we have learned about the link services how link service why the link services are important how to create a link service how to attach a link service with the data set in order to set up a connectivity from your source or the target data type I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more about the Azure Data Factories. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.